Hello and welcome to this mentoring session which focuses on returning to Hampton Park Secondary College in Term 2. This presentation is for years 10s, 11s and 12s and for the year 10s it's mainly applicable to those who are studying a VCE subject. The learning intention essentially for this session is to just begin to prepare students for the return of face-to-face -face learning and hopefully by the end of this presentation you'll be able to identify what Hampton Park Secondary College looks like when all students return to the school, be under understanding of the measures, rules and guidelines that will be in place and then be aware of some of the Department of Education requirements of students and their attendance when coming back to school. Hello and welcome back to HPC to all the staff and students as we return to face-to-face -face learning after six to eight weeks of learning at home. It's very exciting that we can finally return to school and see our friends again and also reconnect with our community after experiencing what is hopefully a once-in-a-lifetime situation. Whilst the pandemic is not over, we need to look forward and continue to adapt so that we can return to living our best life possible. And that starts by returning to Hampton Park Secondary College. Stories we have heard and seen by our own HBSC community during this remote learning phase has been fantastic to see and we hope to continue to see and hear positive actions through this tough time. When you return to school there will be some differences that you notice. Some policies and procedures will change or be implemented, all of which have been made to keep us safe, healthy and at school. If we as a whole school community don't listen to these new messages and rules, we will find ourselves back home and in lockdown again. So please, for the health and safety of yourself, your fellow students, your teachers, your family at home, and the wider Hampton Park community, please do the right thing and live by these new policies and procedures. Teachers will align all of these new policies and procedures, and they will also be available all around the school and on campus. While we are returning back to school, some of our usual activities, such as assemblies, sports events, clubs, and other activities will not be able to go ahead. However, we are determined to come up with creative new ways to continue delivering interesting activities to you to keep your spirits high. If you have any ideas on how we can achieve this, please let one of us or an associate representative know. For some, this period has been a chance to accept to and adapt to. So if you need any help or assistance or you're struggling with being back at school, reach out when you need it. HB has a range of support systems. So reach out to your coordinators, your teachers, your sub-school leaders and the wellbeing team. But overall, good luck with returning back to school and we cannot wait to see you guys back again. The Department of Education has set some rules and these are on the screen for you now. The schools will, all schools in Victoria will actually have a stage return to school. So for years 11 and 12, your return to school date is Tuesday the 26th of May. For years seven to 10, your return date is Tuesday the 9th of June. For those year 10s who are studying a VCE subject, your return to school date will be that Tuesday the 26th of May. The department have also said that as soon as your year level is back at school, that the attendance requirement is that you are to be at school. Schools cannot be expected to provide remote learning where students elect to stay home from the times that they are due back at school. What does school look like for term two? Uh, those dates have just been mentioned there with the 11s and 12s being on Tuesday the 26th of May and including the 10 VCE subjects. Times of the day will still remain the exact same. So 8.55 a.m. start, recess, lunch and the finish time will remain the same as per the remote learning times. From Tuesday the 26th until Tuesday the 9th, we will actually still be using the remote learning time lesson. So that means that it's going to be 60 minutes into, uh, of lesson length. From Tuesday the 9th of June, so when every single student at HPSC is back, we will actually go back to our usual lesson times of 75 minutes.
Year 10 students studying a VCE subject, uh, you are required to be at school for your subject. Um, the example up here is on the screen. So for example, if you had a year 11 uh, subject, you are a year 10 student in period one, you will then come to class at school. If, it, if that's the case, then you will actually go to the resource center to undertake your period two class remotely. And then following period two, you would then need to go to the middle school office to sign out before departing the school. During stage one of return, year 10 students undertaking VCAL will continue to learn remotely. For year 11 and 12, there will be no assessment undertaken in the first week that students return. So that is week seven. So that is no assessments happening from Tuesday the 26th of May until Friday the 29th of May. Subjects have put in applications for having SACs um, to undertake and they will be communicated to you through your classes and also through the senior sub school. For VCAL and VET students, compulsory catch-ups will occur Tuesday afternoon with Mr. Christensen, Ms. Jean-Pierre and Ms. Loudon until the end of term and those students who in effect will be notified. There is a procedure in place for identifying illness for staff and students. All teachers and support staff who note students who appear unwell, immediate reports will be made to the relevant sub-school leaders, assistant principal or directly to the principal. The student's family will be contacted, so the student may be collected or given permission to go home. If that's not possible, isolation at school for the remainder of the day will be only used as a last resort. Some new school rules or routines that will actually be in place in term two. The social distancing of 1.5 metres should be used when practical. And that is between both students and all staff. There are no inter-school sport uh, events until further notice and there'll be no camps until further notice. No large gatherings should occur in highly frequent, frequented areas such as the canteen or maker space. Expectations of students in the yard, students will be required to borrow school sporting equipment rather than bring it from home. That sport equipment will be available to you at your sub-school. Students should avoid physical activities where excessive contact is likely, particularly during unsupervised break times, such as recess or lunch. When you do return to school, the Hanford Park Century College mobile phone policy still applies. So your phone needs to be put in your locker at the start of the day at 8.55 and can only be removed at the end of the day. If you are found with your phone on you during the uh, school day, that teacher will ask to have that and take it to your sub-school. The school is increasing the cleaning process. So um, to be aware of between Tuesday the 26th and Tuesday the 9th, some buildings will be offline to ensure that they can be properly cleaned. Signs will be affixed to the doors stating that due to the coronavirus, access will be restricted. Please adhere to all of these notices. Extra cleaning of the taps, door handles and communal, communally used surfaces will be carried out during the school days. Your own personal hygiene. Uh, students are encouraged to engage in regular hand washing. Hand sanitizer will be available in every single classroom for personal distribution to students. Hand sanitizer will be available in the front office, sub-school offices, and in the main staff room. And you are also encouraged to bring your own hand sanitizer if possible and carry it on you, particularly if you're using public transport to get to school. What are the teachers going to be doing, particularly in the first two weeks? So all of the teachers have been working extremely hard online during this time and that will continue to be the case for the remainder of term two. 
initially when 11s and 12s return on that Tuesday the 26th, some of your teachers will be juggling teaching at school, so the face-to-face -face learning, and then begin teaching Explore and Enhance subjects remotely. So a request from all staff to senior students is we ask you to be considerate when moving around the yard and classes and just limit the noise if you see teachers who are running those online classes. Well-being is a big priority for all staff and students as we return to face-to-face -face learning. We have a variety of support networks that can help you and assist you in any way that we can. Um, please get in contact with the wellbeing team if you need help. You can go straight to the wellbeing team, you can go and ask for assistance with your teachers and your sub-schools. We want to remind you that you need to get as much sleep as you possibly can um, to improve your body and its immune system and try to get back into a normal routine as best as you can. Make sure you're eating really good nutritious food and that you're able to exercise for the benefit of both your mental and physical health and well-being. We've created a survey to help get an understanding of how it is you are feeling in returning to face-to-face -to -face learning and if there's any questions or concerns that you have. This survey is available in your teacher's lesson plan from this mentoring group, so please take two minutes to click on that link and complete it. This will help your mentor, teacher and sub-school leaders assist you in any way that they need um, for Term 2 and into Term 3. If you have any questions that haven't been answered or you might be thinking about other things um, when it comes to return to school, you can actually click on this Padlet link as well um, and put down some questions and we'll be able to get back to you. If you don't want to use the Padlet link, feel free to ask your mentor or teacher and they can answer as best as they can or they can actually pass that question on to some assistant principals or to the principal itself. All the best and we can't wait to see you back again at Hampton Park.